Hello dear students, today I am giving a presentation on what is known as continuity theorem in probability. It is one of the most important properties of the probability function. So before we state the continuity theorem, I will introduce some notations which may be familiar to you as you are all math students. I have a sequence of events that is a sequence of sets of outcomes. So event is a uh, set of outcomes. It is a subset of the sample space. So I have a set of a sequence of sets uh, which uh, and I am calling it increasing if n is a subset of n plus 1. That means for any natural number n, n is uh, contained in n plus 1. Every element of n is in n plus 1. So as you increase n, the sets get bigger. So in this case, we is a uh, use a notation limit n tending infinity so that is a notation only so in that case uh, it is a fancy notation uh, so we take the union and this union uh, of all the n's which is the biggest set so if i ask you which is the biggest n here we cannot find the biggest set here because if you say that and uh, say okay say a 1 million is the biggest then a 1 milli a million is contained is a subset of a 1 million plus 1 so therefore there is you cannot find the largest set here so we take their union so that will be the largest set because every n is a subset of that union so in this uh, case we use the notation limit intending infinity a n to be the union of n and the other case being that a n is a sequence of sets is decreasing if what is the other way around that a n is a superset of n plus 1 that is a n plus 1 is a subset of n so the sets are getting smaller and so which is the largest set here a 1 and which is the sm uh, smallest set here in this case we cannot find the smallest set uh, so if you say that a 1 lakh is the smallest set then a 1 lakh plus 1 is the subset of a 1 lakh so therefore you cannot find the set that is much smaller so in this case we take the intersection of all the n's so they contain all the elements common to n it may be fine that is another thing but the thing is that a, this intersection is a subset of all the n so in that sense it is the smallest set uh, containing elements which are common to all the n's so now uh, 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 we denote it in this case again by the same notation limit a, 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 n, n tending infinity n. So if I have a sequence of sets which is either increasing or decreasing then I am using this common notation limit n tending infinity to, in, denote, to denote the union of the n's or the intersections of the n's as the case may be. Now continuity theorem is a the statement regarding the probability of this uh, limit probability of limit of n that is the probability of the union or the intersection as the case may be. So it is saying that if a n is an increasing or decreasing sequence of sets uh, then probability of the um, n so that is a sequence of non-negative proper fraction so that is a convergent sequence and limit exists so convergent sequence means limit exists and this limit is equal to probability of the limit. That means this is probability of the union of AIs when AIs are increasing and it is the intersection of the AIs when AIs are decreasing. But the main important point is that they have to be either increasing or decreasing. So every N has to be either subset of N plus 1 or the other way around. That means for every N, N plus 1 is a subset of N. So other way around, it has to be true for every N. So in that case, probability of N is a convergent sequence and, there, and its limit is the probability of the union or the intersection depending upon whether it is um, increasing or decreasing. This is one of the fundamental principles of probability theory and it will be used to prove many other properties that we shall eventually see. So I state the proof assuming first that it is an increasing sequence that is every n is a subset of n plus 1. So in that case, what is the smallest set? A1 is the smallest set because it is contained in A2, A2 is in contained in A3 is in that way. So I create a new sequence of events. B1 is equal to A1, B2 is equal to A2 minus A1. So what is the meaning of A2 minus A1? Since A1 is a subset of A2, so we can think of those elements in A2 that are not in A1. Now A1 may be equal to A2 in that case, that difference would be fixed. 
but in general since here a n minus 1 is a subset of a n therefore why i am defining b n to be those uh, that event which contains those elements in a n which are not in a n minus 1. So in this way I get you can think of this as a concentric circle uh, like a v1 a1 being the bullseye and the um, other concentric circles being v2 v3 and so on. So this is just an analogy uh, to to, uh, to draw a picture in the mind side. But then uh, this sequence of events a n that we have some special property one that b n are disjoint so that is easy to see right because you see v1 is a1 and v2 contains elements not in a1 so v1 and v2 by definition uh, are complements they don't have anything in common similarly b n is the complement of n minus 1 so n minus 1 contains v1 v2 up to v n minus 1 therefore v n cannot have anything in common with v1 v2 up to v n minus 1 so these are a sequence of disjoint sets and interestingly, actually I should have stated this earlier, what is the union of these bi's? So, uni, b, so you see, bi's, the way they are defined, that will be a1, then union of a2 minus a1. So, if you take b1 union b2, what will be that? a1 union a2 minus a1, so that will be a2. So, b1 union b2 union b3 will be a, 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 a1, a2 a2 minus a1 union a3 minus a2 so it will be a3 so in the same vein the union of bi is up to from, from 1 to n that will be a n so you see that that is why a n minus 1 is the union of bi is arguing from 1 to n minus 1 that's why i said b n cannot have anything in common with any one b1 b2 b n minus 1 because your b n minus 1 is actually a n minus union of bi is i going from 1 to n minus 1 so therefore it cannot have anything in common with b1 b2 bn minus 1 so by definition uh, because of this fact you know uh, any bn is disjoint with b1 b2 bn minus with its predecessors so all the sets here are disjoint and if you take the union of any first n many of them you get n so this is a mighty important fact that we are going to use and then what is the union of these ais the, the union of these bi's are is equal to union of n's now that is trivial so but, although i say it is trivial but i leave it as an exercise for you to check so how do you check so for you take any element in this uh, union that should be here in the union of bi's and you take any a, 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 a element in the union of bi's then that should be in the union of a that is how to you prove the equality of two sets so therefore uh, since this is true so now what happens by third axiom union of bi's remember the definition of probability there were three axioms what does the third axiom say that if you have a sequence of disjoint sets or disjoint events then the probability of their union is the sum of their probability so i have written it over here since bi's are disjoint so therefore this now what is this infinite series in this infinite series consists of all non-negative sum n because probability cannot be negative. Now, when I have an infinite series of all non-negative sum n, then this series either convergent or is in uh, or is divergent. So, why is that so? Because by definition, this infinite series or infinite sum is just a notation. It is a notation for the limit entering infinity partial sum summation of bi i going from 1 to n. Now, if this limit exists, then this infinite series makes sense. And if this limit exists and is finite, then we say the series is convergent. Now, uh, now what is this summation of bi? Now, summation of bi is probability of a n. Why is that so? Because union of bi is equal to a n, and bi are disjoint. And we have proved in the properties of probability that if you give me finitely many bi, b1, b2. Um, I don't recall with uh, uh, this presentation I am making for the project students. So I have shared a lecture note on properties of probability. I am not recalling in that note, in that lecture, whether we have gone up to finite additive property of probability or not. Okay. So if not, then I, uh, uh, we will discuss it in the next class. 
but what it basically it's a, but the note that i have shared with you there you can see all the properties up to uh, 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 this finite additive property and probability of a complement is 1 minus probability of a these things are there so uh, there you can see we have stated and proved that if you give me finitely many a, a, say, let us say n many a disjoint events then probability of union is the sum of their probabilities so that is what exactly i am using over here since n is the union of this disjoint bi's i going from 1 to n therefore their the, their sum uh, sum of the probability of bi's i going from 1 to n is nothing but probability of n so therefore i have this limit infinite series is equal to by uh, the limit entailing infinity probability of n but then what is the prob you remember what is this infinite series it is probability of union of bi's but then we just have uh, uh, argued above that union of bi's is nothing but union of ai's hence we have that probability of the union uh, is 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 the limit entailing infinity probability of n now here you must note that the central argument that is used is that n is a subset of n plus 1 otherwise you can uh, otherwise the way we have created these bi's you could always define but this essential central thing will not work out that union of bi's i going from 1 to n is equal to n that treated that is true only because each n is contained in n minus 1 okay it is not like subtracting of numbers it is not like x1 plus x2 minus x1 plus x3 minus x2 plus up to xn minus xn minus 1 no matter what the xi's are it will be always xn it is not a telescopic sum okay so here this is equal to n because n is contained in n minus 1 so this is where the increasing increasing properties of n plays the central role so we have proved one part of the continuity theorem so we have proved that for a sequence of increasing that this is indeed the case now for decreasing i am leaving it as an exercise for you to think with the hints that you don't have to do the repeat the argument if n is increasing events then n complement is a decreasing so if n's are decreasing then n complement is increasing because you know if a is a subset of b then what is the relation between a complement and b complement it is other way right correct so therefore if n's are decreasing then n complements are increasing so you can apply the result straight away for the complements so therefore you will have this directly from what we have proved so far and now you will have to prove the property that probability of a complement is 1 minus of probability of n and you will have to do some work here what work that you think that what is the union apply de morgan's law so this is complement of the intersection of these sets and then you have to apply 1 minus probability of n so this is something i am leaving for you as a food for thought so i hope you will complete this proof and uh, so this is it for uh, today and uh, so th th this is where we so this is how we state and prove the continuity theorem in the subsequent classes i will complete the other more elementary properties of probability that i may not have covered till now and uh, then we will go ahead and apply this continuity theorem to prove further results okay thank you I hope this will be of some use to you. Let me just check. I think the recording is still being done because it records for 15 minutes. Let me just check. So here I had a result called properties. So I don't know whether the recording is still on. I can see the icon here. So in these properties, 
so this is the note that we had discussed in the last class so you can see i probably talked about p5